Hey on guys, it's Corey with Perth and WA Fishing Reports. You can find us on Facebook. Tonight I'm going to teach you how to tie a snell rig. It's pretty simple. We'll start off with some trace line. It's 80 pound I'm running at the moment. It just stops the pink thumb from biting through your line. Two 5.0 suicide hooks with a bent eye. It's very important. Small ball sinker. When in the boat I find if the current is too strong, a ball sinker is required. Just keeps your bait in line with the boat so it's from drifting into the other lines and tangling around the prop. And then of course, a small swivel. Now, we've got a metre or so, just under a metre of 80 pound trace cut. So we'll start with the first hook. As you can see here, we're on the trace line through the top of the eye and down the shank. Pin it in your left left hand against the shank. Grab the trace with your right, and then wrap down the shank. With 80 pound, about six to eight times is more than enough. As you can see, grab the end of your trace line and pass it back through the eye from underneath. It's important you go underneath, otherwise it won't sit straight. Pull it tight. And that's the first hook. Same thing with the second, but thread it on. Down the trace. Now with spacing, I'm using yellow tail for bait. So because they're quite a small bait, I'll keep the hooks pretty close together. But depending on the bait you're using is how far you spread your hooks. So once the hook is parallel, with a line against the shank, grab the, the tag end of your trace and wrap it down so you did the first hook. Eight to ten times is more than enough. And then same thing, the tag end back up through the eye. Pull it tight. There's a two hooked snail rig. It's a great rig for mulloway, snapper, Bottom bashing as well for dewies, everything like that. But holds baits on well, they sit nice. Because it's flexible on like gangs, the fish sit, or well the bait sits more naturally in the water. Next thing is a small ball sinker, just thread it straight on. Like so. I'll leave it running so the fish picks it up, it won't feel the weight, and then you can hook it. Small swivel. So tie a simple blood knot. Straight for the eye of the swivel. Back over on itself. Like so. And then just wrap it around once. Two left hands here. Twice. Three, four, five, six times. Pass the tag end back through the loop you just created. Like so. Now you can do a clinch knot or improved blood knot by then passing the tag back through this loop up here. With 80 pound, the line locks on itself and I don't worry about it. Always remember to moisten your knots or wet your knots with a bit of spit from lubrication. And then pull tight slowly. Remember to pull on the tag and on the swivel for a nice clean knot. Work it up with your fingers. Use your teeth if you have to to pull the tag. Well that's it there. Nice big tag on the end so we'll cut that off. And there we are, it's a blood knot, a little ball sinker, and twin snail rig. Cheers for watching guys, check out the page, it's Perth and WA Fishing Reports, tight lines.